We will not allow Nigeria to break. It won't happen under our watch. Nigeria must remain one at all costs. Northern Governor Forum declared. The Northern Governor Forum has said that the North has never agitated for the breakup of the country. Hence, it does not have any plan for it. They said, if you look at our population and what we have together is more than what anyone can hope for. So to try to destroy this is certainly a lost, lost situation. That is why we here in the North would never say we want to leave this country. If you examine the situation, you would find out it is only in northern Nigeria that there is no agitation for the breakup of this country. They said that the unity of the country is sacrosanct, adding that the North has been playing the role of encouraging the unity of Nigeria. That is why we are the root of this country. If the root is uprooted, the tree will not be there. They then added that so we like to be patient. We like to encourage Nigerians to love their country, to be united and tolerate one another so that we can build a kind of country we like to build. They then advised Nigerian nationals to exercise patience in building the unity of the country as they are the roots of Nigerians' unity. It is not a Nigerian that doesn't have any specific plan of its own. In case Nigeria is divided, this means we have absolute confidence that being together is the best thing for all of us. Our responsibility is to exercise patience to make sure we guide this country to the kind of unity and progress we need to develop into a better country and even become a nation state, the Notana Governor Forum said. Thank you for listening to this news. Why would they say they will not they will they will, they will, ne they will never allow Nigeria to break up? Why would they say so? Why would they say so when they know fully well that they have been the one intimidating and deceiving and cheating regions in this country. Why wouldn't they say so when they know that they have always been the one fighting for power, occupying political positions? Why wouldn't they say no? Why wouldn't they? I laugh. They are wasting their hell fucking time. Whether they like it or not, Biafrans, they can stay with any other regions. But as for Biafrans, they are leaving this God-forsaken country. I am not a Biafra, but I support their movement because I see their vision and mission to be a good one. Whereby a country has not been doing them well, what else do you expect? Do you expect them to sit and continue receiving the punishment that the country is giving to them? You can imagine. Since after 1967, after the war, when the, 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 the Biafrans, the Igbos mounted power, since then, to date, they have never tasted the seat of power. Tell me, is that, is that a country that, that, should be, that, should that you should encourage the Igbos to still remain? Is that a country that you should encourage the Igbos to still remain? A country that, that the Igbos pay the highest tax when it comes to payment. A country that the Igbos are denied of sensible positions in, 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 a, in political position, in political office. You can imagine. So what are we saying? Let's call a spade a spade. This is the reason why I said I support the movement. Let them go. Let them go so that they can, they can be able to, to have peace within themselves.
They have fought. Their predecessor has fought for this struggle. They have fought for this struggle. It's just a pity that they couldn't, they couldn't uh, achieve it. But then, they, the children of the predecessor, have taken it up. And now they have been able to take it up to this level of actualization. So, allow them to achieve their goal. Allow them to achieve their position. This is a position that they have fought for. So, no one should deny them of this fact. No one should take this away from them. You understand, viewers? I tell you, we must not, we must not, um, we must not succumb to this. We must not accept this cheap blackmail. Because it's a cheap blackmail. It's a cheap blackmail. Understand? These people, they have deceived the Biafrans enough. Okay? So, Biafrans, I say that you must not give up in your agitation. You must remain absolute. You must not heed to whatever these people are saying. They are only saying all this for their own selfish purpose, for their own selfish rights. They know they have nothing. That is why they are supporting um, they are supporting the uh, 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 one Nigeria. That is why they know that as soon as the republic is, uh, uh, is as soon as Nigerian is divided, they know the, the, what what is going to be their own stand. So that is why they are doing everything humanly possible to see that the egos don't go. But believe me, they are wasting their hell fucking time. Because the egos have already gone. They are gone already. No one can stop them. Not even Niger not even the president Momo Buhari can stop them. I have not seen that. Is it Biafran that has been achieved up to this height? <laughs> I laugh. I laugh at this administration. I love them with all, all my mouth. Because they don't know what they have done to themselves for doing this. The Biafrans have suffered enough. So let them go and have a peace of mind. So whether any, anybody supports them or not, I tell you that these people will surely achieve this goal. They have already achieved it. It's not a republic that almost all the co in countries in the world have already given support. <laughs> Are we to talk about the international organization and international country? Is it not a republic that international organization has already shown endorsement to with billions of euros and dollars? Hmm? See, this, the, uh, this we really need to understand. This republic has been actualized. So whether you like it or not, no one is going to deny them of that fact. Nobody is going to deny them of it. Nobody is going to deny them of it. Not even the president, Mama Buhari, and I know that. So, my viewers, without any missing words, I will tell you that Biafrans are already on the move of actualization. Biafrans have already actualized their dream. So whether Nigeria likes it or not, they have already actualized their goal. Nigerians are only doing this because they don't want to be, President Mobile is doing this because he doesn't want to be at the losing side in his administration. That's why he's just doing all this cover up. But that is that is his own problem. The African Republic is not asking him of that. Alright, so um, my viewers, what's your take on this news? Please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to get updated 